What's up, YouTube? I'm back again. Z Jofi, back on the channel. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my hair's a little messy. I just showered and I got a new haircut, so. Uh, your boy looking kind of kind of clean, kind of cute. Nah, I'm playing, but. But yeah, so the hair's gonna be a little messy right now, but anyways, um, today's video, we're gonna be just doing something new to the, the FRS, and um, if this video does come out before um, before the other video that I'm doing, uh, which I'm pretty sure this video is gonna come first, so um, if y'all didn't know, which obviously you don't, uh, I got a new car, or me and my friend actually got a new car, but, um, it, you know, it's my car, <laughs> obviously, um, and I, I'm gonna be doing some crazy stuff to it soon, as you, uh, in the next video, it's gonna be what I'm gonna do to this car, but right now, let me go ahead and reveal to you the new car, so, this is her right here, uh, she's looking a little, or not a little, a lot busted, actually, hold on, let me turn this off real quick. Uh, but yeah, it's a 1991 240SX, um, yeah, we just picked it up the, the other week, actually, so I've had this for about a week, I just, uh, I just picked it up on jack stands and, um, started looking at the engine and everything, I mean, there's a lot going on with the engine, but, I mean, what do you expect when you get a car that's cheap, and then, um, yeah, I, I took the whole front apart. As I, I'm gonna tell you guys in the next video, I already recorded the intro and everything, but I took the whole front end part off because we're gonna be doing something with that, um, with the front in the next video, but I'm not gonna give away too much in this video, but we're gonna be doing something crazy uh, to this thing, and you guys will see in the next video. But yeah, this is the new car to the channel. Um, hopefully, uh, we, I can get a lot of clips with this stuff and all that, but uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be the new car uh, to the channel for now and all that and uh, I mean, it, it's pretty clean Not I don't want to say it's clean. It, it's a it's a work in progress, but uh, It's We're gonna make it look nice. We're gonna make it look nice. It already came with some decent uh, rims and everything I don't even know what these are some like Yeah, I don't know what they are um, but Yeah, th this wheel has a lot of curb rash so um, we might have to get that repaired if anything but yeah I mean here she is this, that's the new car to the channel but today this isn't the focus the focus is on this one right here uh, we're gonna be doing something new to her I just got this part in so um, let me go ahead and show you what it is it came in to, to actually y'all probably can't see it too good in the in the wrap or anything but um it's actually the Rocket Bunny V2, uh, like, wing they got in the back. The spoiler, the big old duck bill they have at the back. So, um, I'm getting the trunk ready. So, I bought a trunk just off off rope or whatever. And uh, we're going to be putting it on that. And then we're going to throw it on this. And um, we're going to see how it turns out. But, if anything, if I, I might have something to do right now. And if I don't, then you will see the, this whole thing real quick. But if it's, like, the next day or whatever, then I have something to do. So... But, yep, here she is. Uh, I just unpackaged it and everything. And, um, yep, we're going to go go ahead and uh, prepare the trunk, wash it off, get it nice and clean, debadge it because it's a BRZ, um, it's a BRZ trunk or whatever. We're going to debadge it, all that. And um, I might just uh, resume to when I'm actually putting on the wing on there. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and swap the trunks. Uh, this is the current trunk I have on it. It's a carbon fiber one. But, uh, you know, I got bored of the look, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that. And plus, carbon on um, black is in, like, it doesn't pop out too much, and I want something to stand out. So, I mean, yeah, so I'm going to get this trunk ready. We're going to throw it on the car, and then, yeah, and then just more stuff to this car as well. Beat. All right, you guys, so... Um, we here, so I'm gonna try to debadge this real quick with these. And I know there's many other ways you could do it without ruining your paint or whatever, but I really don't care about the paint on this right now. And um, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna try to cheap out by using a fucking heat gun, see if that like loosens up the adhesive under. And if it doesn't, then it don't. Which I mean, like like right now, I could like pull it off if I wanted to already. So I'm gonna see if this can loosen it up a little bit. And then if anything, I'll just try to, you know, pop it open a little bit with this as much as I can and uh, see if we get these badges off. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to throw that on to this boy. Alright, so we got the whole left side off. Now it's just the adhesive we had to like rip off. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get something and then take this off and everything. And then uh, I'll be back to you guys once we get that thing on right there. Boom. Alright, so the debiagent is done. As you can see, it's uh, all the adhesive and everything off of it over here. What I did is uh, I just heated up the adhesive and then with like the rag right here. I just scrubbed really hard in it and it all came off like it finally came off so if you want to know how to take that off you just, just use your heat gun and if you don't got one you can get these at Home Depot for like 30 40 bucks so it's not too expensive you don't have to have like that top tier heat gun you can just buy the cheap one and it'll, it'll work just just as good so um, yeah that's the debadging I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this out of the wrap so we can see it. Give it a second. I'm gonna I'm actually lay it down this way. Oh no. Um so yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna set up the camera. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna unwrap it. So this is it unpackaged, as y'all can see. It's the V2 uh little wing, whatever. So we're gonna throw it on this booth trunk that I bought off offer up. And then we're gonna throw it on this boy. That's it. And then y'all can see the, the after, the final thing once we get this on. I'm not gonna show you guys how to install this because um, that's too much work. But y'all can find a video out there if y'all need it. But y'all can see my car with it on, looking mint. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and throw this on there. Uh, we got some family members arguing in there. Don't worry about that. Uh, and then my friend's here to help. And then I got more friends coming right now. So yes. All right, guys, so it is actually like two days later, two days later, and it's a little windy right now, but um, hopefully you guys could hear me fine, but, and yes, if you guys seen the previous video, I'm recording this on the same day that I recorded the ending of that, but, um, so update on this, uh, we're actually not going to end up putting this on until I get a, you know, a new paint job on the car because uh you know there's minor imperfections here and there on the car and uh you know it's just bugging me a little bit so i'm just gonna get a whole new paint a whole new color color and everything and you know it would do good because uh obviously i'll get this thing repainted and i'll get the whole thing color matched and everything if i just get the whole new paint job and you know since i got uh you know some specials coming in uh, the new color will kind of complement it or, you know, make it pop more. And, you know, this thing's finally going to be at a point to where I feel like I'm happy with it for a cool minute. And then uh, I'll do all the extra mods and all that. But uh, we're going to get the new paint job. And then hopefully these come in soon, within the next month or so. been waiting, like, maybe three, four months already just for, uh, you know, these boys to come in. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm or not today since you know, it's already part of the video uh, Right now all I'm gonna do is probably just to not make this video too long um, I'm gonna do a quick just like overview of how to swap trunks So I'm gonna go back to like the stock trunk take off my carbon fiber one um, So yeah, basically it's just gonna be um, How do you do it? Yeah, it's basically just gonna be uh, transferring all this wiring. Let's hope it focuses Transferring like all this wiring and you know from here and all that uh, over to that trunk and um, Yeah, so uh, first step just real quick nice and uh, easy. Let's hope you can see it uh, Yeah, so th this wire right here. All you gotta do is uh, unclip this um, Let me look 
Give me a second, I'm gonna set up the camera. Cause I need to see how to how to actually do it. Uh Alright, so I got the trunk off. Um if you're doing this on your own, I mean easiest way is just to like push the trunk down downwards and then uh, undo the bo the bottom bolt first on both sides and then fully take them out and then you want to take take out the two top bolts last and then just have like your trunk lay right here and you just hold it up and then take it off as I did but uh, yeah you'll figure out your own way if you're doing it alone the trunk swap if you really want to know but right now the next thing we got to do um, right over here um, usually, um, on your guys' trunk, if you have a stock trunk and you're putting the carbon fiber one, your clips would be all connected and everything into the trunk. Uh, yeah, all you gotta do is just unclip all the clips that are connected in and then take them out. And then, um, basically just unbolt all, all these little things. Uh, obviously, uh, I'll have to disconnect this, which is just simply like turning it to the left and pulling it out like that. Same thing over here, just twisting it wherever it goes and then pulling it out. So make sure you disconnect that. And then next you wanna unhook uh, these bolts for your uh, trunk uh, open the, with the key, the one that you use the key with, uh, this one right here. So you're gonna unhook that, pop it out, and then from there, if you got a rear view camera like I do, you wanna disconnect that first. You want to disconnect it from here first and then um, and then go ahead and disconnect the rest of the wires which is uh, up here with uh, some 12 millimeter bolts and then you pull out all the wiring everything and just easily transfer it onto here so I'll be back to you guys as soon as I have everything transferred all right guys so I got the other chunk on and everything uh, this one's just being a little retarded on the bottom ones. So um, before you put the top ones in, I recommend trying to put the bottom ones in first. Just have them in the holes ready to go. And then, you know, when you, uh, easy way to like hold it is like bring the trunk down on top of you and then uh, bolt it with a ratchet or something or a wrench. But yeah, uh, transferred everything over. Got my rear view and then we got like all the lights in. And the lock as well um, yeah I mean changing your trunk uh, isn't too hard we got everything uh, back in in the back and tied in and everything so uh, the last step right here would just be to put the wires the wire through the hole over here kind of pull it out from over here and then you know just close this up uh, just like this there you go should be nice and closed in closed up and then the last step just uh, connect this back in and then boom your light should work again just like that um, all right so so yeah so oh my dumbass did I not line it up good Oh shit. No. I don't think it lined up good. Uh, let's see. No, it should be. What's, what's it hitting on? Why is it not shutting fully? Uh, yeah, I mean, it should be. Huh. What the? Huh. It should shut. Uh, I'm gonna figure that out right now, but anyways, um, that's how it's looking right now. <laughs> I know, she looks uh, a little busted, but uh, we'll have that on soon, and we'll have a new color on soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end off the video there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this video, all we did was, uh, just get the trunk ready for the, uh, Rocket Bunny V2, uh, duck bill. And then, um, 
I'm gonna go out and get her painted and everything, get a new color, and then you guys, next video, hopefully, you guys will see her brand new. Or if not, uh, next video, I'm gonna go drop her off, and then after that, then you'll see her brand new and everything. But yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe as always. Uh, follow me on my journey with these two cars. Now this one, and my 8.6. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, that didn't work. Give me a second.